Hey guys, I'm here with John Rosecrantz. He's our nutritionist. I love animals. I've always loved animals working with livestock. I decided if I could help people do the right thing and have healthy animals make a career out of it, that that was for me. So John, what does a dairy nutritionist do? Well, my primary job is to assist the farmer with making sure the cows stay healthy, get fed properly, and that's the technical part of the job, but also that consistency, which is a, a dairy cow's mantra, is followed on the farm. A lot of people wonder why we need a nutritionist to balance a cow's ration. Can't we just throw some hay in front of her, call it good? Well, you could, but the cow isn't going to be very healthy doing that. Think of a cow as a very ramped up athlete, an Olympian. To support that kind of activity, you have to feed them well. Some humans take multivitamins, which give them those minerals. Virtually all dairy cows do. Experience has said that if we don't do that, we will end up with problems in the cow's health. This is why he's the expert, and this is why farmers work with experts in their field. Got the corn, we got PVM and mill run. This is corn silage. It is the whole corn plant, not just the ear, not just the grain. It is the stalk, the leaves, everything shredded finely, making it so the cow doesn't have to work as hard to eat it. <laughs> alfalfa hay. It gives us lots of fiber lots of bulk without a huge amount of actually chemical fiber. And then the leaves are a very good protein and energy source. What we have here is cottonseed. It's what's left over after the cotton gin makes cotton for t-shirts and clothing. Um, why does it make such a great feed for dairy cattle? Well, it's a product that gives us a combination of fiber, protein, and fat and energy. So it's a superfood for cattle. Basically, it's a superfood for cattle. Oh, gosh, that's so far down. Nice ground corn. So a very common misconception I hear a lot is feeding corn to dairy cattle or cattle in general is bad for them. Uh, I've heard it said by some people erroneously that, that ruminants, cows in particular, are not built to eat grain. I, Which doesn't even make sense on face value, because if they're out grazing, they're going to be eating the seed heads off exactly of right. grass, which is grain. So, Our role is to provide a diet that's consistent year-round, and that's why we end up using a dry grain. This is high-fat canola meal. Should we taste it? You can. Nope. Bitter. Mm-hmm. Cows love it, we do. So this is actually a byproduct of making biodiesel. Biodiesel. It is typically grown in areas that are challenging to produce human food economically. This is mill run, which is from making the uh, flour for baking. So it's a combination of bran and some flour. Uh, our use of this is, is very important to the flour mill because they are in the process of processing wheat and generating flour. They need to get this out of the way. Mm -hmm. And if they can't get it gone, the plant's going to shut down. They're able to get value because we get value from it. Mm -hmm. Which also helps keep the cost of flour down. John has been making feed rations for cattle as long as I've been alive. The amount of knowledge in that brain can't be quantified. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. We all play a pivotal or intricate role in keeping our girls healthy. Right, Callie? <laughs>